My name is Michael Foster. Um, I'm the uh, head organizer on the ground uh, with the RWDSU Union. Um, I come out of a poetry plant from uh, Decatur, Alabama, uh, but everybody around here knows me as Big Mike. I was just presented with the opportunity to come down here to help a, a, a bunch of group of people down here in Bessemer, Alabama. Um, uh, to come down here and try to bring upon the change. And um, I was excited to come and um, and help and just to do uh, anything that I can. Um, we've been on the ground uh, try, uh, getting authorization cards signed to be able to, to get to the vote uh, where we at right now. Uh, it was just part of the process. Um, we had a tall task to um, get to. Um, we had to have 30% of 5,800, which is a lot of cars to get signs, but uh, by the grace of God, he allowed us to succeed. We as the union, we didn't just uh, show up at Amazon. We had a group of people uh, call us and, and wanted help. Um, um, and as um, we come out, the people was just uh, telling us about the issues that they was having. Uh, with getting their schedules changed at night when they're sleeping, uh, not knowing that they got them coming in an hour early, and now they're being docked an hour's worth of pay because they did not know. And um, you can be up for termination just for going to the restroom. Um, how scary is that when you have bills and family to attend to, and you walking on eggshells every day because you don't even know if you can have a secure job just for using the restroom, females have female issues where they may need to go to the restroom. I mean, how scary is that, that you're actually sitting there holding yourself because you may not have enough time off task to go to the restroom. How scary is that? I'm talking to people that said, I was hoping that we could win, but now I'm, I'm more positive that we're gonna win. Um, I just believe hope is a is an awesome thing to have. Um, I believe the RWDSU bought that hope uh, to Amazon, to Bessemer, to um, give the people something to hang their hat on, um, to provide a sense of job security. Um, somebody to come to you know right now if something happens they have nobody to go tell they have nobody to go cry to uh working in a right to work state um your employer can walk up to you and say we no longer need your services anymore I don't have to give you an explanation i don't have to tell you why they can just do that he could just had a bad day at home and come in and single out workers that he may not like and get rid of them. But with the union, he doesn't have that option anymore. Uh, we provide dignity and respect in, in facilities um, to know that um, you don't have to come to work worrying, are you gonna be able to maintain that job? You know what I mean? So um, it's, it's hopeful and I can tell by the people um, seeing us outside those gates when it's hot, when it's cold, when it's raining, we still are there. Uh, the people appreciate it so much, they, uh, they have pulled over hot chocolate for me, hand warmers, telling me, Big Mike, we appreciate you, you stay warm. I have people pull up and say, why in the heck are you out here? It's so freezing cold out here. I said, brother, I'm out here for you. I'm willing to sacrifice this for you. Um, I tell people all the time, this is not a job that you can have just to have a job. I mean, this is not like a, I'm a welder or something. You have to have it in your heart to do. Uh, like a teacher, a nurse, a doctor. You don't want a doctor just concerned about your insurance card and your finances or your copay. You want him to actually care because when they care, they do the best job because they actually care about your well-being. And that's me with being an organizer. I actually care 
about my people. Um, I make myself available. People call me 11, 12 o'clock at night because they work second shift and they have issues and I'm available. And I'll allow them to know that my availability is always because I know that they need somebody right now. So I just try to give them that sense of hope that, hey, we're here, we hear you, and we're gonna stand with you. Everything has to have a foundation. Right now with this movement, it's the foundation of what could come, of the beauty that could come from this. Um, and I just believe regardless of the outcome, this is going to start a movement. Um, we're going to continue to fight, um, whether it's here, somewhere else, the RWDSU along with Big Mike, we're going to show up. We're going to be relentless in our effort to help. Um, it's a time out for oppressing people, especially African-Americans. Uh, Bessemer is a uh, majority African-American. Amazon is majority African-American. And I don't know if you know this, but Bessemer is the one of the poorest, it's, it is the poorest city in Alabama. These people have been oppressed and um, it seems like everybody benefits off of oppression except for the people that's being pressed. So it's time out for that. It's a new day and time. Um, we're not going to accept it no more. We have a, a, a slogan that we use around here in RWDSU is that we want our people to have a living wage, not a minimum wage. Uh, we're tired of just being able to pay bills or just to receive that meal for today. Um, we actually would like to take a vacation also. Not nowhere extravagant, but just to Florida. I mean, to Panama. I mean, what child you know don't want to take a summer vacation with their family? Growing up as a young man, I never took a vacation. We never could afford that. I come from a single mom, a uh, single home with a uh, mom who's worked at a uh, poultry facility for 33, 34 years and also had a second job for 18 years. Um, it's, it's time out for that. Um, somebody got to stand up. Um, and I'm happy to be used as that person right now to be that voice, to be that example that I will stand and, 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 and I'm not going anywhere.